Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. They do that by giving people fair warning for their illegal and immoral behavior. I come from a family where there is a marvelous group of siblings that used to care for each other. But at some point they decided and learned that their living and their work and their income was not going to provide them a retirement. So what they decided to do was to align themselves in liars games against the honest one of the family. And what they did was take advantage of a downturn in the economy and a loss of a life partner for me. And when they did that, they started to think about what they might win. I could say a lot of things, but anything I say in my videos gets played back at me by some idiot child from a black community. And when I say this, they'll keep doing it because they like to tout their superiority. Now, have I become a white supremacist? No. Have I become a empirical scientist? Possibly. Have I become an observational journalist? Definitely. Am I a trained one from university? Most truly. But what I'm going to say to people who think they're going to win with their lies and appropriateness is that there's always an ombudsman for this state that is more than happy to take your late father's estate. The sheriff of our communities are also more than willing to take your houses for your lies. But when you play as if you're going to win from your abuse and your lies, you have forgotten who you came from. My late father was a lieutenant colonel in the military. That provides us some privileges under maritime law. It, however, does not provide you any superiority or any seniority in the face of the law. My late father's estate belongs to my late mother, and either way, any sibling that interfered with the dissemination of that will could end up in jail. Any person of a community that interfered with my pockets, violated the law, and crossed the state line pretending to be me to pick up baggage or delivered it across the state line to make up for their stupidity have violated federal law. The laws of America protect many things. The Bill of Rights also protect the right to relate story underneath freedom of the press. The laws of America of the Bill of Rights, the First Amendment, protect freedom of assembly and freedom of religion. When a man has a faith, he practices his faith. When a man has a ministry, he reaches out for cross-cultural diversity to other ministers and other pastors and possibly other prisoners of their faith. But when a woman walks at a man today who is a white woman that a man has never met in any way and she hassles him about where he should go and all these things that she should not do, you know, we have to begin to produce a lie, not at all. We have to present her with truth that you have immorally solicited a man who has nothing and no desire to be involved with you. And at the same time, you are proving by your behavior that you are hassling someone based on a private email to a male pastor. When you violated the right of that man to receive his email privately, when you interfered with your interpretation of it wildly, you prove that you are not a woman of God. You also prove that you're not a Proverbs 31 woman at all. But here's what I can tell you to the people who like to tout and like this woman tried to throw about that she was going to get some sort of restraining order. And I just looked at her and thought, you are mental health because I'm peaceably sitting here working. But you think you're going to walk up to me as a total stranger, a white woman who is younger than me and start yelling at me in the streets? I don't motherfucking think so. And when I'm angry and when I'm raging, it's because of the constant harangment and hassling that I have received now for the past almost, gosh, since 2012, you do the math. How long is that, people? So let me be clear that my rage is off charts, but I have a right to the peaceful living of my life, whether I'm impoverished or whether I'm rich. And what I'm going to say to that little witch in Noblesville is, you made a major mistake playing into our lives, opening our Rolodexes, using your wilds to try to produce a living off the stupidest fucking network marketing thing I had ever heard of, but because I was impressed by your brain, 
because I was moved by your wit. I participated willingly with you to the detriment of my relationships and my business. But no, no, never mind that. I have a forgiving heart because of my paganism. I have a willing art because of my love of you. But don't you fucking cross the state line making something a federal crime when you are soliciting God for me in a way that is immoral. The next time you play into this community to tout your red truck, to dance your dress, you better not be playing with a policeman because I've endured enough abuse from them from your stupid immoral call because at that time you were no Proverbs 31 woman at all. But what I'm going to say to a sibling said is don't you play with me in front of my future employer because you will never reach your life that high and motherfuckers you better pay attention to your life. Your job on behalf of my late father was to establish nothing new but was to honor his beliefs in the family that was true.